Okay, so this is a screencast for Caesar's De Bello Gallico, uh, and this is uh, Book 5, Chapter 30. Um, this is the scene just after Sabinus and Cotta have uh, been arguing about whether or not they should leave the winter camp. Okay, so let's start right in. Hoc in utramque partem disputatione habita cum acota primisque ordinibus acrita resistoretor, winkite inquit si ita vultus Sabinus. Uh, so this is, um, this beginning part is an ablet of the absolute. Um, so with this argument uh, having been held on both sides, when Sabinus, uh, you have to go all the way to the end for that, uh, when Sabinus was op sharply opposed by Kata and the first rank centurions said prevail, um, and that's an imperative right there. Prevail if you wish thus. So he continues on. Et id clariore voce ut magna paras militum exaudiret, neque is sum inquit, qui gravissime ex vobis mortis periculo terrear, he sapient. So, and he said this with a louder voice so that a great part of the soldiers heard. And I am not uh, the one from you, from you all, who is frightened most gravely by the danger of death. These, um, and th that is, he's referring to the soldiers, these will understand. Si gravius quid acidirit, abs te rationem reposcent qui, si per te liceat, perendino die cum proximi cibernis coniuncti comunem cum reliquis belli casum sustineant, non reiecti et relegati longe ab citeris aut ferro aut fame interiant. So if a grave thing happens, they, uh, that is the soldiers, they will demand a reckoning from you. Um, and remember, he's still talking to Kata here. Um, these who, if it is allowed through you, having been joined with the nearest camp the day after tomorrow, uh, they may endure the common misfortune of war with the remaining um, that is he's referring to the other soldiers in the other camps um, not uh, having been driven out and sent away far from the rest die either by the sword or from hunger uh, and that is the end of Sabinus's little speech, so that concludes uh, Book 5, Chapter 30.